Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And how many times have you gone to grab a light that you own? Maybe you're taking it out to a gig and you just take it and you just throw it in the back of your car. Throw the cables in the back of your car. This is not a good idea. We can do better than that. This month, we're talking all about protecting your gear. Now, over the past year, since we started selling gear at LearnStageLighting.com, ultimately because you guys asked for it, and it really is a best of both worlds kind of thing, where we can help you get that personalized price, you help us be your dealer. Um, as we've become a, a place where a lot of people are getting gear, uh, it's been awesome. But one of the top questions we get is, what do you recommend for protecting our gear? And so this month, in the next few videos, and this will all be in a playlist at the end, we want to talk about just that. Because I have uh, something I learned early on about protecting gear, which is uh, you don't have to go out, first off. You don't have to go out and buy a road case for your gear, a big, heavy, wooden road case, okay? You might need that, but you might not. And we're going to talk about that this month, okay, in all these videos, including this one. But... What you need is to give the light and cables and console enough protection for the way that you handle your gear. Because everyone's different, right? Like to go back to the road case example, I've watched road cases protect uh, cables and consoles and powered speakers when unfortunately, you know, labor that was not, how should we say, the gentlest would take lightweight items, whether they were fragile or not, pick them up, toss them in the truck, right, in the back of a semi, okay, and then it would go down the road on this semi, and if, you know, we had a good trucking company, it would be air ride, so they wouldn't be bouncing the whole time, but sometimes you got a truck that wasn't air ride, right, uh, that's probably not your situation, if that is, you know, you want a full road case, but if it's not, we're going to explore some options that still protect your stuff, and, and keep it nice without breaking the bank, because if you think about it, you know, you take, like, this is a mini moving head. You take a little beam moving head like this, and it hits the ground. It's going to get all scuffed up, and that doesn't look nice. Nobody likes that on their gear. You want to take care of your stuff. It's going to get all scuffed up, and, you know, you might start to break off buttons or, or feet or knobs. Um, if you hit it, you know, if you impact it here as a moving head, it can screw up the till, and then you're kind of done for, right? Um... You know, same with, with PARs, the lenses, you can smack them, crack them, uh, and it doesn't take much to protect them. So the first thing I want to look at is I want to look at bag type cases and show you some options that there are. Okay, so the very first option there is, will pop up here, is literally just a bag. So this is the ADJ Starbar wash, it comes with a bag. And I gotta tell you, if you're the kind of gigging musician or person like that who's placing this in their car, carrying it into the venue, maybe placing it against the wall, um, setting it up. Like, a bag like this is going to protect you. If you're not placing other heavy objects on top of it constantly, uh, it's going to protect you. Let's look at this one, okay? So this one's just got a basic zipper. It's not super heavy duty, and it's actually included with the Star Bar wash, but we have other cases. And it's got some, some soft fabric on the inside. It's just got a little padding between the two layers. And then we've got the lights in here. And compared to just the light and the buttons and all this being exposed, just this little bit of padding helps you out so much. I mean, it's not that much, but it really does make an impact. And it really does help keep your stuff nice looking and help protect it. Uh, additionally, this one, like many, has a little pocket for your cables. And so that's nice because then you don't have cables in there scratching the lights and you don't have them um, just jumbled loosely all around or in milk crates, okay? And, and bags like this can be in all sorts of form factors, right? This, you know, literally holds the four-par lighting kit, the ADJ Star Bar Wash. Check out our review here. Uh, but there's different shapes. There's ones that hold multiple pars in them, etc. okay? Uh, there's there's some for like small moving it's all kinds of stuff okay the next kind 
is the semi-soft case. That's what we want to talk about here. So with bags, you know, there's bags that have racks in them too, stuff like that. And we can help you get some of that stuff um, at Learn States Lighting Gear. But our next kind is the semi-soft case. Okay, I believe they call these EVA type cases. And these are interesting because they offer even more protection. Like, like I can hit this a little more and it's not getting beat up, okay? Now, is this something that, you know, if it falls six feet down to concrete, is it going to be damaged? Probably, right? Um, but these are cool because they're pretty inexpensive. This one's for a laser cube. Uh, we can link to a video on the laser cube here. But regardless, um, you know, they just, they zipper. So they're still a soft-ish case, but they're rigid. They're rigid. And that's the cool part. And you can open these up. And the cool thing is they can have pockets for cables built in. They can have foam that you can add in to fit your different pieces. Or if it's just for a single light like that, I just had that mini mover a second ago. Let me grab that again. I think it'll fit in this case. You know, it could go in like this and close that clamshell and be really protected in that spot, okay? And so that's, that's what's cool about these little cases is they're hard but they're not expensive. Uh, just look them up on, on Amazon, other places, EVA cases, I believe they're called, uh, typically. And they really offer that nice option of a little more protection than just a soft bag for, you know, something hitting them, uh, stabbing them a little bit. Like, it's not a road case, but it's also super light. So if you're carrying your stuff yourself, um, hello, you know, putting them on a small cart. Actually, I've got a cart. Um, it's not in here, but there's a lot of musician type carts like the Rock and Roller and I have one of the On Stage Stands brands ones. And I can't, uh, for a gigging musician, I, I really can't recommend stuff like this enough. You know, soft cases will protect your stuff for the level of abuse you're putting on them, for the level of gigging you're doing. And then these semi-soft cases can be really great. They're going to stack a little bit better uh, than the completely soft bag on carts like these. And they hold their shape a little better. So when you're moving them around, they work well. Um, that means they don't compact down quite as small when you got to store them away before the gig. Uh, that's key. But I hope this helps you to really see how there are different options out there besides just a full blown road case. And so next week in the next video, we'll be back. We're gonna talk about the next type of case. So don't miss out. While you're here, subscribe. And if you're thinking about buying any gear, any of these cases or uh, any lights, head over to learnstagelightinggear.com. We want to let you know that you can check out all of our brands on there. Check out lights you're interested in or ask for advice on what would be best for your situation. We'll let you know and we'll get you a personalized quote in your inbox. We'll see you over there. LearnStageLightingGear.com. Thanks.